Keith, we're coming down to the end of Oshkosh, so we're saving some of the best for last. I have been following uh, all of this, all the way back to working with Augusto, I don't know, decades ago at this stage of the game. And it's been fun to watch this company mature, develop new products, and some really innovative stuff as well. Tell me first about the Sakari 8. Yeah, so the Sakari 8 is a pretty new design. We, um, uh, the development finished in about 2018. Uh, there's 30 of these flying in the world, most of them in South America and Europe. This is serial number 31, first one in the United States. We put it together in our operations center out in uh, Reno, Nevada, where we have U.S. operations to support North and Central America. The Sakari 8 is a nice light helicopter. We use the Rotax 915, which is a great performer. It's a 140 horsepower turbocharged engine. A little more power than it probably needs. Uh, useful load on this is about 430 pounds. We run a premium auto gas, 18 and a half gallons of premium auto gas. On this one, it's been about average in four and a half, five gallons an hour. So very cheap direct operating cost. Running auto gas means you can go down to the local pump as long as it's premium with not more than 10% ethanol. Now what's the plan for the 8 as far as the U.S. market? Is this going to be your flagship for the time being? Well, it is. We have the Sakari 8, which is a side-by-side -side that has dual controls. So a customer who buys this and assembles it themselves can actually have a CFI train them in their own helicopter. So if they're not rated, this is a great way to get a rating. We do have a Sakari trainer, which is a single-seat helicopter with a normally aspirated Rotax 912. It's a hover trainer in a cradle that flight schools are starting to use now. It gives you a much lower cost of operating to get a student up through the hover and it's good for 10 hours towards a private license here in the United States with the FAA. What's the certification basis for the 8? The opportunity and an emerging regulation that's coming from the FAA with the new Mosaic rewrite will give us the ability to produce this exact helicopter as a production light sport helicopter in the United States. We'll still sell them as kits. Uh, we know there's a lot of owner builders that you know want to maintain and build their own machines, uh, but we will sell them as a production light sport helicopter it, probably next fall, hopefully. Okay, very attractive machine. If I want one, what do I got to do? So if you go to sakari-usa.com, we have a lot of information, text sheets on all the machines, and any place you say get a quote, you click that, it takes you to a full pricing page. We're very transparent about everything. This thing comes really complete to build as a kit now with the engine, the instruments, and a comm radio. But in some cases, people may want a transponder with ADS-B out, or they may want ADS-B in, or in this case, on this bird, we actually have a four camera system, which gives you a, a live video uh, view on the panel so you can tell that the tail rotor and the rotors are clear when you're coming into a landing zone. About how long to build and give me a rough range on pricing. We only ship today as a fast build kit. We don't charge the fast build option. So it's about 200 hours to put this together. We have a tech that can do a build assist that's another 20K over the kit price. The kit price for this is 220K. And this machine would compete with any production helicopter as far as the quality and the purpose built components that it has. Keith, thanks so much for joining us on Aero News. And we, again, really look forward to getting our hands on it. Thanks, Jim. I really appreciate it. And thanks for coming by. And uh, we're going to take you flying. Sounds like a plan.